Hello everyone, today we will be reviewing three of the most popular 17 caliber cartridges. They are the 17 HMR, the 17 Winchester Super Mag, and the 17 Hornet. Now in order to get a better understanding of their capabilities, I thought it would first be very important if we took a closer look at these cartridges from the inside out to find out what they're made of, literally. So I will be pulling each of them apart and we will be using a digital scale and we will measure how much gunpowder goes into each of them. That way we can have a better understanding of the incremental steps upward in power that they each possess. Then we will go out and we will shoot some of these cartridges to see if their real world performance matches up to what we would expect to see based upon our research. Now when I did the outdoor shooting and filming the other day, it was on a very windy day, so please be patient with us there. It was so windy, in fact, that it was all we could do to hold the camera still at times. But I really thought it was going to be important to show you firsthand how these cartridges perform in less than ideal conditions, as one of the concerns about the 17 caliber bullets is that they are wind sensitive. So I really hope that you will like the video, and if so, please remember to click the like button and subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, I will be looking forward to your comments. Thank you again. Okay, what you're looking at on the far right over here is just the casing for a 17 HMR. Next, you're looking at a uh, 17 grain Hornady VMAX. And these two bullets are both hollow points. Now, which one is the 17 grain and which one is the 20 grain hollow point? Your guess is as good as mine. If you look closely, they are the identical height. There's nothing that would really let you know by looking at them with the naked eye which one is 17 grain and which one is 20 grain. So we're just going to weigh each of them in a moment on the digital scale over here so that uh, you can see which one is which. Alright, I've got my Lyman digital pocket scale all ready to go here. Just open this up. Let's weigh this uh, ballistic tip bullet that we believe is 17 grains just to be certain. 17.2 grains. Let's weigh it again. 17.2, 17.3, so pretty close there to 17 grains. This one, we'll see if he's 17 or 20. 17.3 grains. And this one should be 20 grains, or at least awfully close to 20 grains. 20.2 20 20 grains. Okay, what you're looking at there is the 17 HMR casing, the 20 grain 17 HMR bullet, then the digital scale, and we have the powder that came out of that 20 grain bullet 17 HMR. Let's go ahead and weigh this here. right about five grains of powder right on the button. I have weighed that a couple of times off camera just to be sure it was accurate. I continued to get 5.0 or sometimes 5.1 grains of powder every time I weighed it. All right, what you're looking at once again is the 17 HMR cartridge. This time the little bullet on the right is the 17 grain hollow point and we are getting ready to weigh the amount of gunpowder that came out of that casing. Let's see what we have here. 5.6 grains of powder. I have weighed it a couple of times off of camera. Sometimes I would get 5.5, sometimes 5.6, but never any figures different than 5.5 or 5.6. All right, as you can see, I've got the Hornady 17 grain VMAX getting ready to uh, weigh the powder charge on this one next. Looks like right around 5.4 grains. I have weighed this off of camera before filming and sometimes it was 5.4, sometimes 5.5, but right in that neighborhood. 
Okay, as you can see here, we've got a uh, 17 Winchester Super Mag 25 grain bullet all taken apart and getting ready to weigh the powder charge right now. Tipping the scale at about 8.2 grains of powder. Okay, next up we're going to be weighing the gunpowder charge from the 20 grain 17 Winchester Super Mag. Coming in at about 8.7 grains of powder. Okay, next up I'm going to be measuring the gunpowder charge for the 17 Hornet, 25 grain hollow point by Hornady. Let's see how much was actually in there today. Looks like right around 11.3 grains. All right, next up, I'm going to be weighing the powder charge for the 17 Hornet 20 grain VMAX. Let's see what happens here. Looks like right about 12.3 grains. Okay, well, I've made a spreadsheet here to kind of keep track of the different uh, powder charges next to the different bullets and calibers and bullet weights. Starting off with the 17 HMR 20 grain hollow point, that had the least gunpowder of all of them, as you'll recall, at five grains of powder. And then when I moved into the uh, 17 grain hollow point, that was about 5.6 grains. So that represented about a 12% increase in powder. And then there was about an 8% increase in powder compared to the 20 grain hollow point when I went to that 17 grain VMAX. So for future reference, I'm just going to say that these 17 grain bullets have right about 5.5 grains of powder. And they're about 10% more powder than the 20 grain hollow point 17 HMR. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've brought in the data for the 17 Winchester Super Mag 25 grain VMAX bullet. As you recall, that had 8.2 grains of powder, and that represents a 49% increase versus the 17 HMR. Okay, I have the data in here now from the 17 Winchester Super Mag 20 grain. As you'll recall, it was loaded with 8.7 grains of powder and that would represent a 58% increase versus the 17 HMR, which was loaded with five, about 5.5 five grains of powder. Okay, we're now looking at the 17 Hornet 25 grain hollow point data. As you'll recall, that had 11.3 grains of powder, which represents a 30% increase over your 17 Winchester Super Mag 20 grain offering and it represents a 38% increase in powder versus your Winchester Super Mag 25 grain offering. Next, if we bring in the 20 grain data that we weighed out on that 17 Hornet, let's see if we can move this over a little bit better in a moment here. You'll recall that was 12.3 grains of powder, which represented a 41% increase over your Winchester Super Mag 20 grain bullet and it represented a 50% increase versus your Winchester Super Mag 25 grain bullet. All right, we're gonna go out to the shooting range and do some uh, ballistic testing at 200 yards in a moment here. When you see the 17 Winchester Super Mag 20 grain performance, please realize that it's going to be arriving with about 188 foot-pounds of energy at 200 yards and take a look at the 17 HMR 20 grain performance at 50 yards. Notice that it's about the same amount of energy, 194 to 188, real close. So whatever you see at 200 yards with the 17 Winchester Super Mag 20 grain, you could know that that's pretty close to what a 17 HMR would deliver at 50 yards. And then when you see the 17 Hornet 20 grain perform at 200 yards, 
you could know that that's about 294 foot-pounds of energy at the arrival, which is going to be about 56% more energy than the 17WSM20 grain at that same distance. Be shooting the water jug on the left at a distance of 200 yards for the 17 Winchester Super Mag 20 grain bullet. It hit, it hit it. Yeah. Yep, that was it. We'll be shooting the water jug on the right at a distance of 200 yards. 17 Winchester Super Mag with a 25 grain. There probably would have been a hit on a coyote on any of those shots. I think I was only missing by an inch, inch and a half at any one point. Getting ready to shoot the 17 Hornet, 20 grain, with the water jug on the left, at a distance of 200 yards. was I? You were probably, you were high and a little bit to the right. Was I high by one inch, two inch, four inch? Uh, you was pretty high. Okay. All right, thanks. Get it? Yeah. <sighs> there is a guy. <laughs> All right. We'll be shooting this water jug at a distance of 200 yards with the 17 Hornet, 25 grain. Alright, I'm walking up right now to the water jugs that were just hit. This is hit 200 yards with a 20 grain bullet. 20 grain, 17 hornet. I think I hit it dead center right about there. Nothing really came out the back that I can tell. Just blew up. On a 25 grain. From what I can tell, it looks like it hit pretty much dead center. And it just blew the back right out at 200 yards.